My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. My name is Jake, his name is Jimmy's. Let's go! That's Aunt Jan. You said you weren't going to talk about her the entire show. She's a disappointment to her children. Good aunt, bad mom. (laughs) Big day yesterday. We were on TV. Kind of. Not a big deal. Thanks, Yes Network. Here's a highlight. We were on TV. And that's why we're a little late today. Big breakdown on Monday. TV on Tuesday. Weekly dumb. Midweek dumb. Middle of the week dumb. You can get dumb anytime you want. What about the sports, Jake? James, this is a big one, and you just mentioned it. There was a real baseball brawl earlier this week. Your Seattle Mariners versus my Los Angeles Angels. That's why we wear these two jackets. A real baseball brawl got the people going, and it was a long one. There was little flare-ups. Old men falling. Your kind of dream. Dom Chidi got suspended. Tough look for Penn Murphy to get tackled by him, but what are you going to do? Old man tackles you. And then ball and change you to the ground. Yeah. Feel bad. Archie Bradley broke his elbow. No one would have known it was from the fall if I didn't point it out. So I do feel bad about that. Sorry, Archie. And I hope you recover and you're good and stuff like that. And they doled out all the suspensions. And Phil Nevin gets the longest suspension a coach has ever gotten. A dozen people suspended. And the Angels interpreter got suspended. Yeah, that was tough. The him and Otani highlight that was going viral. Everyone loves Otani. The interpreter getting suspended cracks me up. Yeah. I'd be really funny if there was a player of the game who who did who was not an English speaking player and they'd had to do the post game interview and it was Without just him. lost. Suspended. They just looked at each other. Wish you didn't suspend my interpreter. I'm lost. James, we'll keep it in the world of baseball for this almost a breakdown. Your boy Blupa is back. That sounded like a hyphy song. Your boy Blooper is back. So Blooper is running on the track. (laughs) And then the other two mascots, I forget what they were. They were like, Jimmy was the Home Depot bucket in the drill. Very iconic figures. I'm a Lowe's guy. They cater to women better. And Blooper just destroys one of these mascots. And like, (laughs) it had to hurt. Blooper jumps up and gets... The drill with like his thigh area to the drill's shoulder, the human being, human parts. And the drill, they don't just topple. They get. You think there were humans in there. The other Home Depot one steals Blooper's hat. And I like that aspect of it. Like you may have thought you helped me. Yeah. But I'm stealing your you hat. You thought I'm you were on my race. side? No, no, no. I'm still not on your side. You take the bullets out of my gun? Let's throw it back to the more sports. But before that, Jake, can you show everyone your freshly trimmed pubic hair? Manscaped. (laughs) Oh, no. (laughs) He did it. Jim, your Stanley Cup champions, your Colorado Avalanche. We're not talking about them. We're going back to the brawl. Because, Jim, it's not all about... The bad stuff in the world. When there's bad things, there's light. The Beatles. Uh, Jesse Winker got sent a pizza after the brawl. A fan sent Jesse Winker pizza to Anaheim. My favorite part of that story is that it was uh, Mountain Mike's pizza. And the quotes are, I just found a local Anaheim pizza spot. Yeah. A reporter, Trent, who I like, covers the Reds, I think, a lot, said, if I go to Anaheim, I'm going to try Mountain Mike's. Mountain Mike's is a chain. It's like a fast food pizza place. It's not good. It's like a $5 all-you-can-eat buffet lunch spot. Shots at Home Depot and Mountain Mike's? Mountain Mike's pizza, not good. People like it in California, but it's like instant heartburn. They have a dessert pizza that's good. Trying to get them revved. The pepperoni at Mountain Mike's is actually especially awful. It's it's basically 90% pepperoni and then a little bit of pizza under it. And those little pepperonis Mm. that get super like crusty. So if you like that, Mamma mia. Can you just order pizza to players all the time? Walk off cheesecake. Like, why don't we start doing that? We kind of have. No, but with food. Okay. Like they, like, they win the game and they come back and there's, here's some cannolis from the Talking Yanks, guys. Oh, here's some pizza to the Mets. This is nice. Oh, dead rat box. Rat dropping pizza? 40 dead rats in a box. I thought it was pizza. Sounds illegal. Oh, you're a cop. How long have you been dating Aunt Jan? Back to the not sports. Take that back. Jim, this was a big story <laughs> for you. You're involved in this in multiple ways. Oh, the not sports. Yes. This is good. Craig Ferguson. NASA wants its moon dust and cockroaches back, Jake. Okay. A little more Bateman. That was cotton. That was, yeah. NASA wants its moon dust and cockroaches back. Yeah. Uh, they do, though. So apparently. Seriously. They collected the moon dust when they went to the moon. 
which you don't believe in, but they did. And then they fed the moon dust to cockroaches to see if it had any infections. Obviously, we're scientists. Yes. Can't cockroaches like last through anything? Well, that's the ultimate test. And then they sent the cockroaches and some of the moon dust to Marion... Marion Brooks. Brooks. She dissected it, studied the cockroaches, the moon dust found out it didn't have killer infection in it, but she kept the moon dust and the cockroaches. Her daughter sold it at an auction and now it's being sold at auction again for 400 grand. Don't believe that. Oh, it's listed for 400 Listed grand. for 400 grand. Yeah. And NASA is saying, hey, you can't sell that. And they're saying, well, it's already been sold. I bought it. And, they, and NASA said, well, we didn't know about that, but now we want it back. The moon dust. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of into that. And I am also- that's, that's weird since you don't believe in the moon landing. I'm offering a lunch with myself and it's starting at $400,000. Uh, someone- would like to take that up. What's the what's the food at this lunch? And uh, the dress code? Eileen Greek. Oh, I'm out. For the dress code. Oh, I'm in. Do you work here? Did you provide help? Or are you jobless? You're our employee. We'll torture you. Employee of the week. What song is that? Dancer. Yeah. Are you human? Or are you dancing? Dancer. Dancer. Dancing. Dancer is the lyric. Dancing. Who do you want to give it to? I mean, two people have had babies. Shackle's doing great stuff. Shackle and the Babies? Shackle and the Babies sounds like a good band. Yeah. If you told me that band was playing at a bar around the corner. Jay Shack and the Babies? Shackle and the Babies. You had it. Ho! We're Shackle and the Babies. And this song is Are We Human or Are We Dancing? That was the Weekly Dumb! Today's episode of the Weekly Dumb was brought to you by Manscaped. Jake showed his pubes mid-show. They were nice and trimmed. You can look like Jake if you want. You can get the Platinum Package 4.0. Covers all the bases from trimming to showering to leaving the gym smelling nice. This is the best bang for your buck. Get 20% off and free shipping with code Dumb20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com with code Dumb20. Time is vital. I have Shackle in a baby, like a Cupid baby outfit, and the other, the two others are dressed as Shackle. I have Shackle. He plays the, the washboard, yeah. spoons, and the babies are the singers. <laughs> okay. They're sitting on stools in the front. Yeah. Mike's in front of them. Babies. Shackle's in the back. No, actual no, babies or like big old human babies? Actual babies. <laughs> Sing in front row, spotlights on them, and then Shackle's in the back. No light on him. Spooning away in the dark. His career's really taken off <laughs> at the right time. He's got better hair than you and I. Yes. Thank you.